Next question is from Josh Shannonator. How can I recover more quickly from extremely high intensity squatting? Usually I am buffered for five days. You are asking the wrong question. <laughs> you're trying to, you're trying to, you got a leak in the ship and you're asking me what the best, you know, right, silly right. putty is. How do to, I patch everything up? Yeah, no, the, the problem is that you're working out too hard. Yeah. If you're hammered for five days, there's no recovery tool available. I don't even, I mean, like, what's that thing that Boba Fett sleeps in? Uh, the, <laughs> the, the, that, yeah. That chamber. Is, I don't know what it's called. Star but. Wars reference. <laughs> yeah. That's, I love it. Unless you have one of those. Yeah. It's yeah. like a healing uh, chamber. Yeah. Unless yeah. you have one of those. I mean, but no, there's no, there's no recovery tool or, or, you know, technique or hack that's going to, if you're hammered for five days, it's going to make a difference. It's not going to make a difference. The problem is you're working out. It's too much volume or too much intensity right. or both in your workout. Fix that. The recovery tools and stuff, you know what those are good for? Those are good for people who are always training near the line and they're 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 really dialed in about everything yeah. and they just want that slight extra edge. And I'll tell I'll list you here here's the list of things that are most or important. Or they have to perform like that's so, yeah, athletes. right? So they just did yeah. like an event and they performed at their highest peak and now that like it's really necessary you add all these recovery aids. Yeah, but but here's here's the li here's the, the list of things that help a recovery in order of importance. Sleep Food and water, and then all the other stuff like you know, red light therapy, and you know that might do a little bit, or sauna, or cold, or plunge, and that kind. Of, maybe it'll do a little bit, but yeah, the 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 fact that you said you're hammered for five days, there's nothing I could throw at you that exists today that will make that big. Isn't difference. it interesting? That's how this is how our brains operate. I was the same way yeah. too. You know, like I like would it's be, not the workout. That's like, the should I take some BCAAs or should yeah. I do some hot cold plunges or should I do a massage like right yeah. afterwards? Like I'm yeah. thinking of all things. Every, every time, time I'm so sore. Versus yeah. the way I look at it now, which is like, oh, I have this amazing signal that my body gives me feedback when I overreach when I train. And look at this: the last two times I've trained legs, I've been sore for five days. Mm -hmm. It's not that I'm yeah. missing a supplement. It's not that I'm I'm not doing something in my routine to speed up recovery. It's that I'm overtraining. I'm yeah. overtraining and I need to back off. And so that's the way you need to reframe this and think about this is that and it's not a, it's not a negative thing. It's just that simple is that you're training really hard probably on those days and your body yeah. is still sore when you go to train your legs again and that is your sign that you did too much. Totally. And, and you, backing you, off doesn't mean that you're you're slowing down your your pursuit of going forward in, in progress. No, right? it means you're going to accelerate. You're just faster. getting smarter with yeah. your training. I have to like put that out there because there's so many uh, people out there still promoting like intensity by all means necessary. Right? Yeah. Like more is better. Like, no, there's a smart way to train where you still progress. You can lift more weight if that's the desired outcome, uh, but you got to be smarter about your training. No, Josh, here's the deal. If you trained less intensely or less volume, you'll get faster results than you're getting right now. So you're not going to compromise anything. Right now you're compromising everything because your workout is too intense. That's the problem. So back off and then watch what happens to your progress. Hey, if you enjoyed that clip, you can find the full episode here or you can find other clips over here. And be sure to subscribe.